And the platform that allows people to be creative and build new applications and show off new hardware advances, uh, that's a central element that allows it all to thrive. So Windows 95 was key to its era, and Windows Vista is key uh, to the era we have today. It's about making sure your information is protected, that you don't lose it, that you understand your privacy, and uh, software is not working against you. And so we, here we are 12 years later. It's a very different industry today, far larger and tackling a much broader range of tasks. In fact, we can say that 12 years ago, it was pretty narrow. Uh, it was creating documents, uh, hoping you could print those documents. Fonts were an amazing thing. People couldn't believe, wow, these fonts. You know, if you think back, as Bill did, to, to the time of 1995, the PC was, was sort of solitary in the technology world. The internet wasn't really developed. People didn't own cell phones really very much or digital cameras. Here we are 12 years later, and Windows Vista comes to market. There's many technology products. But at the center, the product that brings it all together, the hardware, the cameras, the photo frames, the, the uh, 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 connectivity to other machines in the house, the new applications, connections to websites, it really is the PC running Windows, and particularly Windows Vista, that enables that, that next generation. And click Next, and you'll see that I get some great options on the DVD menus that I can choose from. And I like this one right here. I'll click Preview, and Windows Vista will make me a beautiful DVD to send to my grandma. Look at that. It's ready to render and play on any DVD player in the world. It's that easy, and it's built right in. So kids, on the count of three, we'll push the Wow Starts Now button and launch Windows Vista. What do you think? One.